So here we have the uh, Nike Air Max DN SE, and this is in the sky blue, hyper blue color. Uh, this is a new released uh, silhouette in 2024, and came out on Air Max Day. And obviously it's been part of the uh, Air Max lineage, so this is uh, the, the next model that's in that particular lineage. And at the end of the day, this shoe was created as a lifestyle shoe, so back in the day, Air Maxes were used more for running. Uh, but nowadays it's probably more lifestyle because of the tech is not the, the greatest for running nowadays. And these ones have like a, a dynamic air unit in there. So as you can sort of see with the trainer, this is what they're claiming to be the dynamic air unit, which is the four bubbles running through. And it has like a, a, a I suppose a tubular system going inside that allows, you know, the, the pressure of, of the air to move from one side to the other. So with the details, this has a sky blue, hyper blue, black and chamois color. So I think the chamois is probably the what they mean, the yellow. And you can sort of see here, this has got almost like a sail type color going on. And like I said earlier, this has a dynamic air unit in there. And it also has what they're calling a, you know, an EVA midsole. So it feels quite sort of soft to the touch, uh, which is what you need, especially because of the air unit being flexible. And it's got this sort of uh, synthetic material, it's almost sort of rubber feel like to it which, uh, you know, does the business in terms of, you know, being able to sort of wear it anytime. And the price on these is £165, which is slightly more because they're calling this an SE version. So with the comfort and sizing, these are on the medium to firm side. So much like any other Air Max, really, it kind of feels similar to, I suppose, an Air Max Plus, in my opinion, and maybe slightly more squishier than that. And, you know, still sort of nice on foot, but I wouldn't say it's revolutionary. And also your heel sits slightly elevated, as you can sort of see here, because of the, the, the heel area having this uh, enlarged air units in there, it does sit slightly elevated, not too much, because they've kind of accommodated for that on the forefoot a little bit as well. And these have good neutral support around the arch, so inside the trainer it's sort of contoured and sort of nice and shapely to your foot, so you should be fine on that front. And obviously it's used as more as a lifestyle sneaker nowadays. And uh, like I said earlier, there's no sort of wearing time with this. So with this particular trainer, you'll be fine because of the material being very flexible. And I would go true to size. I think only if you're in between sizes and you know, you're in between say a six and a half and a seven, then you potentially could go down half size. They do run big in my opinion. I went true to size and normally with their maxes, I usually got half size because I have a wide foot, but with this one true to size and my toe comes to about here. So, which is a, I suppose you know more like how you know when I go half size up that's how it fits so for me I think I feel they run a bit big and these have really good traction so being a newer model even though it's like this almost sort of waffle pattern style it does feel very nice on foot and very easily you know sort of transferable to, in terms of sort of being grippy and you can feel that especially on the surface so with the look and style I do like the rugged chunk chunky look of these and it was one of those sneakers that I suppose probably appeals more to a younger crowd and for me I'm probably not the the most suppose, keen on them especially at full price and with this particular one the reason why I was attracted to it is it's got these sort of dark colors on here and it's, it's pretty much sort of sold out quite quickly in, in most of the big sizes which I was uh, surprised about but it does look nice and you know I think it looks more like an Air Max Plus with this particular version being kind of had this gradient effect going on and it's a particular sneaker that's very versatile, so I think that's probably why it's popular with the, the younger crowd as well, is the fact that you can wear them anytime because of the uh, upper being this sort of rubberized material. Um, it's not gonna be the most breathable, but at the same time, it's one of those trainers that you'll be fine sort of wearing them in the wet and in the rain, but also will, will keep you warm and comfortable as well. So, um, so I think for me, you know, it's one good to wear anytime really. And because of it looking more of a sort of rugged, chunky type silhouette, I, I feel like it's more casual wear really. So, you know, with, with a pair of cargoes, jeans, joggers, that kind of stuff, I wouldn't really be wearing these with, you know, any sort of smart outfits really. And it comes with the, the black laces that's in there, but you can also try and put in some yellow ones to match the uh, bubbles and also blue pair because obviously you've got blue on the upper. So with the final thoughts, I do like the colorway on this. It's really nice and uh, one of the better ones in my opinion, especially because you've got the contrast of the bubble being in the yellow. And it kind of feels sort of almost sort of a classic Air Max type colorway as well. 
And I do like the rebound effect of the uh, dynamic air unit because it feels more like, a, I suppose, fuel cell. So when, as you're walking, you know, it kind of gives you that sort of lift off, which I like. And the upper material is a, is a good thing as well because of the fact that it's got quite a lot of flexibility on it. And because it's uh, one of those ones that it sort of almost feels sort of rubberized, it feels nice on foot and I feel like it will last a long time as well. And like I said, because of that, it's a good one to rock all seasons because of the outsole being rugged. Uh, the upper being you know quite sort of flexible and also sort of waterproof i guess to a certain extent you know it's one of those trainers that you can wear pretty much anytime in terms of cons this is a, a personal opinion for me but i'm not a fan of the way it looks on the back it kind of gives you that sort of tank vibe and for me it's not one of those ones where i'm kind of completely sold on the way the silhouette looks and the cost, so these ones are more than a standard version, so being an SE, I'm not sure what the difference is between this and the standard GR version, but they're labelling this as SE, but there's no sort of extras that you get with it, and the material feels the same, so I can only assume they probably think the colourway is the, a special edition one, where it's different to other ones that I've released, and it has that sort of gradient effect going on. So with the ratings, I give the looking style 5 out of 5. I think it's a really nice looking sneaker with this particular one being, you know, this sort of gradient effect in terms of its colour. I actually like it a lot and I think it looks really nice and that's what attracted me to it. The comfort, I'm going to give it a 4. It's not like it's awful and it's not like it's horrible and, uh, you know, it's quite sort of firm on foot, uh, I suppose. But at the same time, it gives you that sort of rebound effect. So it's kind of what you need when you're walking, in all honesty. and. Uh, you know, because you sit quite high up as well, it's uh, quite nice on foot, in my opinion. And the quality, I give that a five. I think, you know, in terms of the materials that they've used and the way the shoe's constructed, and obviously there's new sort of tech in there, I think it's uh, cool, you know, and I think the quality is good on these. And the pricing, I give that a three. I think 165, you know, quite a lot, because it's more than a standard version, which is normally priced at 155. And even that, I think, is priced a little bit too high, in my opinion, but it's still nice for what you get. Um, and that's why overall I've given the score a 4 out of 5. I don't think it's a 5 out of 5 sneaker for me, just in the fact that you know I prefer other Air Max models that have come out in the past. And this one, I think, is nice, but it's not revolutionary, and I'm kind of looking for something more revolutionary. But I suppose if I pick these up on sale you know, at a lower price, then I probably definitely would sort of grab them just to have a, a model, you know, a DN model in the collection. But for me at the moment, it's one of those trainers that I think is probably not a must-have 